the Smoky Mountains have some of the most diverse ecosystems in the entire world. Forged over millions of years, the mountains are home to many organisms and species that are unique to the environment they inhabit. Humid, thick air dominates the early summer mornings in the Smokies. As the thick air burns away in the noon sun, an insect awakens from a decade-long hibernation. Once the cool, crisp night air cools and quiets the land, its noise is unforgettable. A high-pitched buzzing attacks the eardrum as you are witnessing the reintroduction of the cicadas. Locally known as periodical cicadas, or simply cicadas, emerge from the ground every 13 years in the southern United States. They spend a significant part of their life cycle underground to avoid predators until the brood is ready. As they break ground and rise through the soil, they do so by the millions, so that even when predators eat their fill, they still have massive numbers to reproduce with. But what are cicadas? First of all, cicadas are insects. They have been on this planet for more than 300 million years, completing their life cycle over and over like clockwork. There are cicadas that are found in other locations across the world, but only in North America do the periodical cicadas exist. Of the North American cicadas, there are seven different species. Three of these species live mostly in the northern United States and venture above ground every 17 years. The other four species in North America climb out of the ground every 13 years and are generally located in the southern United States. Some people mislabel cicadas as locusts. Locusts are a type of grasshopper, cicadas are not. Cicadas are closer to jumping bugs when it comes to phylogenesis. So what do cicadas look like? Adult cicadas have black bodies and red eyes with orange wings by their sides. Other non-periodical species are green in color and others do share a similar orange and black color scheme. Interestingly, the best way to tell the species apart is by the sounds they make. A cicada's face consists of wide eyes and short antenna. The female cicadas look similar to the male, but they have a pointed abdomen for reproduction purposes that the male does not have. Pre-adulthood cicadas are called nymphs. They live underground, surviving on the nutrients of root fluids for sustenance. These young nymphs look nearly translucent in color and resemble a larva with legs. Cicadas spend lots of their time as a nymph, but by the time they are ready to emerge, they can grow from the size of an ant to the size of a full adult cicada. Cicadas are not known to have any physical or non-physical defense mechanism. That is to say they have no way of defending themselves beyond their great numbers. They do not sting or bite or act aggressively in any way. Once an adult cicada has emerged, it will live between two to six weeks in nature. Due to the immediate danger of natural predators from the moment they come out of the ground, cicadas don't start mating until almost a week after they venture above ground. Once the mating starts though, it goes at full speed. Males produce their loud, mostly annoying sounds in search of mates. Similarly to the synchronous fireflies of the region, the cicadas sing when other males sing. Some of these songs can even reach 100 decibels, which is astonishing. Groups that sing together attract both males and females to mate within the range of the sounds. It's almost like a ceremony of sorts. Females choose one mate and then move on, while males will mate with multiple females over a mating season. So what threats do the periodical cicadas have in their natural habitat? Well, the time adult cicadas spend above ground can be a dangerous one. They have no way of defending themselves and the species relies on satiating predators to remain intact enough as a whole to reproduce the next generation of offspring. To say the cicadas are easy prey is an understatement. They are found all over the place without any physical or chemical defense and they are easily captured. These three things lead to the population becoming food for a multitude of organisms. The cicada predator list includes, but is not limited to, birds, squirrels, cats, dogs, turtles, snakes, wasps, and spiders. While young nymphs are preyed upon, they are not attacked at a level at all close to adults. When they are eaten though, it is mostly done by moles. 
As previously mentioned, part of the evolution of the periodical cicada was the building of a massive population to fill up predators so that they won't have a need to attack continuously. This has been proven scientifically to work consistently as a barrier between the predators and the altering of the cicada lifestyle. The only other known killer of cicadas is a fungus that grows underground and affects the nymphs in their early life stage. This fungus attaches to spores on the abdomen of the cicada, but doesn't kill every nymph it comes across, which makes it even more dangerous. Instead, the cicada can reach adulthood and transfer the fungus to other populations of cicadas, causing terrible long-term damage to their population. It often causes females to be unable to mate during mating season, a problem that is serious with all the predators taking advantage of them above ground. These periodical cicadas are mostly an annoyance to humans due to their noise and their sheer population. Interacting with them consistently every 13 years has turned these cicadas into a cultural event. Leading up to the emergence of these cicadas, news stations and locals prime each other for the flood of insects. Even though there's nothing to do about them, and we shouldn't try to do anything about them, the periodical natural event will forever be a part of the Appalachian culture throughout the southern United States.